All right, so today I think it's time for a major upgrade. We have this tiny little ship at my base that only took me like a thousand or so blocks to make. So I am going to completely destroy it and replace it with a massive flying ship that will cost me over 15,000 blocks just to build. It is easily one of the biggest things I have ever made and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And while you're at it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe it's only two clicks and it seriously majorly helps out the video and for youtube to promote it more and with that let's just jump into it all right so you walk out the doors of my house here and you can see the ship in the background and i mean it's nice it fills up this space but it's kind of boring it's not that big it's not decorated i didn't do much with it and as you can see i like to do stupidly massive ridiculous projects like the giant gold statue our giant statue of liberty the giant chunk of the nether that i moved to my overworld you know and this tiny little ship in the background just isn't cutting it we need to do better so it's a pirate ship so i decided hey we're gonna attack it we're gonna explode it and uh that that didn't work i'm okay what if we light both bits of the tnt at the same time surely this would have worked here we go and nope that was somehow worse i totally forget how to do this okay what if we build a tower make it a bit taller and we have that tnt in the front and uh, okay we're getting there a little bit closer we're in the right direction we need to go higher though so we'll put two tnt in the back like that and here we go this is the one Oh, yeah, there we go. No, we, we didn't blow up the ship. Uh, we we only blew up the bridge. We, we missed the ship entirely. But, but hey, we're in the right direction. We're almost there. A little bit taller, a little bit closer. Here we go. And hey, there we go. We blew up the sail a little bit. It's kind of boring. We, we need to do more damage than that. All right, here we go. This is the one. Surely we got it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it went out the back. Are you kidding me? Okay, this one. I've got it. I've got it for sure. Yeah. Yes! Oh my goodness. It took me like 30 tries, but we finally got it. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the destruction here. We finally managed to do quite a bit of damage, but uh, this was uh, going a little bit too slowly. We clearly need to pick up the process a lot. So I decided to, you know, now that we've infiltrated the ship here, uh, we just placed out a bunch of TNT. the TT and top didn't light so let's go ahead and take care of all of that and there you go finally we got ahead just blew up pretty much the entire ship and uh yeah that's a lot of damage so just give me a couple of minutes we're gonna clear up the rest of these random blocks lying all around and here you go we now have a blank slate to work with and remember though like I said we're not actually just gonna build a ship in this same spot no we are going to build a flying ship it'll still look like an old-fashioned pirate ship but it'll still be flying and uh yeah this is all the blocks we're gonna need for that and we need over 13,000 items and accounting for all of the blocks that we need to craft said items we literally are gonna need like over 20,000 items just for all of this but hey it's worth upgrading and uh speaking of upgrading this castle honestly is gonna need upgraded kind of soon it's kind of basic a little bit boring so we're definitely gonna be upgrading this thing soon so uh you know subscribe turn on notifications wait for that because that is gonna be amazing we are gonna build a stupidly massive castle in the future but for now, we need to work on getting supplies for our current project. And the first thing I decided to work on was wool. And there's a few different ways to get wool, like crafting it with string. Except I used up all the string that I had, and I only managed to get a stack and a half. And I need, like, a shulker box and a half full. So I went to my creeper farm, which doubles as a spider farm. That's one way to get wool. And the really only other way is to, you know, just trap and then breed sheep and then continuously shear them. I wasn't entirely certain which method would be faster, either using regular sheep or, like, my spider farm so i decided you know what we're just gonna test it out so i flew out back to my farm here i wanted to know exactly how much string i could get from this thing in about an hour so i flew up top afk for around about 40 or so minutes i went back down to check that all out and yeah we didn't actually get that much this thing will only give you about six and a half stacks of string every hour and i could have swore it was more like it did better but i haven't used this thing in so long so i'm not entirely certain if it's broken or if i'm just remembering incorrectly that it's 
actually not that good. I honestly don't know, but I thought this thing would give me a whole lot more gunpowder and a whole lot more strength than it actually did. I didn't feel like fooling around with the thing, trying to figure out if something with it was broken or wrong and I need to correct something. I mean, I checked my render distance, I checked everything, it all seemed like it should be working, uh, but no, I, I just decided to bother with it. So I just went back to my base, grabbed a whole bunch of supplies, uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and trap a bunch of sheep here. We'll breathe about, you know, do things the old-fashioned, normal way, take care of all of this. I mean, it still was gonna kind of take me a while, because, like, I don't have any wheat to breed sheep, because, like, I don't grow wheat anymore, because I don't need it for anything. So this is kind of a slow, boring process, just leading the sheep into my pen with the wheat. So, yeah. And so we had to fly back home, go to our farm, and actually start growing this wheat again. But, uh, I mean, all of this is really boring. We can just skip all of this. I'm basically just growing wheat and then breeding sheep for, like, two hours. It's really, really boring. Just skip all of this. <gasps> And about two hours later, this is what I managed to accomplish. As yeah, here you go. As you can see, there's a whole lot of dirt. And the reason being is because when you shear sheep, the way that they regrow their wool is by eating grass. Yeah, and a couple sheep managed to escape. And so, uh... Can't be having that. No, no, no. Only sheep are allowed are in my farm. I don't know why I didn't just lure them back in, but there you go. So yeah, the process, really, really simple. Like I said, you just shear them, wait for them to regrow their wool, shear them again. Every now and again, grab some wheat to breed them to get more. And this is how much wool I got after about two hours. And I only had to work maybe another hour or two to get the rest that I needed, because we needed all of this in white wool, plus like another nine or so stacks for black wool. So yeah, skip all of that. And about two hours later, a Finally, we have got all of our wool that we need for this insane ship. And that is only a fraction of the supplies we're going to need. And it took me like five hours to get it all. Next, we need an absolute ton of spruce wood. And the easiest way to do that is just to plant a bunch of spruce saplings and then grow like these really massive spruce trees. And they grow to like absolutely ridiculous height. And you can get a ton of wood from this, which is really, really nice. Yeah, once they're all grown, you just fly up top and then you mine them from the top down. And after are only like less than 10 minutes you've got an insane amount of wood so i had to do this a few times to get all these spruce wood that i needed because we ended up needing like two full shulker boxes just of spruce planks so yeah we need a ton plus we need all of that spruce wood so i ended up having to do this a few times and uh, it was at this point that i was beginning to realize that yeah it was going to take me several days to collect all the supplies i was going to need for this thing like we're only a fraction of the way done and i've been at this for so very long but to prevent you guys from getting too bored i'm just gonna skip over over all of the wood collection is pretty much the same. You just plant some saplings, grow them, mine the wood, you turn it into everything you need, like the stairs, the fences, the planks, all of that. It's all pretty much the same, repetitive, boring. The only one thing that I did have to do is I had to fly out to this jungle to get some jungle saplings because apparently I didn't have any. But other than that, I just spent like two hours growing trees and mining them and crafting them into random wooden things. So yeah, that's really boring. So I was skipping ahead all of that after a other couple of hours here is all the wood that we collected we have an entire shoulder box dedicated to all of my oak things all of the spruce that i need as well as two additional shulker boxes just for the planks and then the final chest here for all of our dark oak that we need and then just the miscellaneous blocks so yeah like i said it was a lot of wood really boring so we just skipped all of that for you guys and now we just need to collect like a couple thousand more items here as you can see for like just miscellaneous decoration blocks that aren't too important I already had like 90% of what I needed at my base and I just had to craft all of this. I actually didn't really have to go anywhere to get all of this. Literally, I already had, as you can see, we've got pretty much all of the iron that we need to like craft the iron bars. We've got all the gold that we need. Uh, I did sort of eventually run out of iron when crafting all of the anvils that we need for decoration, but that's not too big of a problem because we already have an iron farm. So we had to craft a bunch of coarse dirt. We have to like a bunch of note blocks and jukeboxes and all that stuff. Again, it was really simple and it was just a matter of crafting it all. I only had to leave my base for a few things. Like, for one, I had to go find an end city. Because for decoration on this, we need a ton of end rods. So it was really simple. I already know where an end city is due to the fact that I've got shulker boxes from here. We also need to grab a few random flowers, like an azure bluet. I also had to go find a fern and a few other things. And then on our way back home, I went ahead and carved some pumpkins and grabbed those for our decoration blocks. Again, all of this was really simple 
and I only had to leave my base a few times to get what I needed. And we were able to pretty much craft all of that until all I needed now was iron. I needed more to craft like the anvils and hoppers that I was going to be using purely for decoration around this ship. I was pretty much already done for the day, so I figured we'd just AFK here for a few hours. We'd get all the iron we needed, and there you go. The next day, we had all that we needed. We finally had all of the supplies to finally build this ship. Again, as you can see, here's all the supplies that you've already seen, like all the wood and whatnot, and then these two shulker boxes in the back. This is all of our decoration blocks. This is gonna be like randomly placed around the ship to make it look a lot more fancy, a lot more decorated. You know, just look a whole lot better. And now, Finally, after over a day of collecting supplies, we can finally get to work on building this thing, and I absolutely cannot wait. So I went ahead and marked up where we were going to be building the base of this thing. Again, like I said, it's obviously flying. I didn't want to build it too far up because I want it to be easily seen. We got to work on building those bottom few layers here. Only took me maybe like 15, 20 or so minutes, and we were able to get that all built. Now you guys can sort of get a better understanding of how this is going to look. The left end is the back end of the ship, and then the right end is going to be the front end. We still obviously have to build out the, I think it's called the bow sprint or whatever, and then the back end here will be like where the captain quarters is and all that. And so, yeah, this is basically just the bottom few layers. There'll be a room there eventually that we need to decorate, but we're not going to decorate all of this right now. We'll save that for the end. And, like one thing I want to do too, as I want to like anchor this thing to the ground again, like it's trying to fly. So I want to build like some iron chains anchor it to the ground and maybe build like a giant base in the water where it could land if it wanted to stuff like that so i think that would look really cool for decoration like physically anchoring it to the ground like it's actually flying but again not gonna do that right now we'll save that for the end and we're just gonna continue working on building our ship here and one of the primary reasons for that is because i don't actually have enough iron to like build the iron blocks to build the giant chain so we're gonna be collecting more iron while we're working on this thing so i went ahead just got to work on the next few layers and as you can see again we're building up that bottom room building up everything and then roofed off all of that what we built right now, this is basically just the main layer of the ship where you're going to see most everything. The back end of the ship, again, is obviously going to be closed off for the captain quarters. And then the front end, we still need to build outwards a little bit. And then we have a ladder to get below decks. Again, none of this is decorated. We're going to save that for later. I didn't really want to do that right now. Primarily just building the thing all the way upwards. But for now, we are going to finish working on all of the wooden structures for this thing. Because basically, there's only two things left. Build up all of like the fences and the wooden structures, the front end, the captain's quarters and then that just leaves all of the wool for the sail and whatnot. So I went ahead and spent about another 20 to 30 minutes and we were able to build all of this up. As you can see there, we built the front end, then we then worked on the back end to build the captain's quarters and all of that. And there you go. The majority of the ship is now completed. I did forget the tail end of the ship here. Because again, remember, it's a flying ship. So it needs sort of like a propeller in the back. Which is what some of these blocks are used to build. So we went ahead and spent just a few minutes and built all of that. And there you go. That helps us fly through the air. It looks a bit weird right now, obviously. Because we've yet to build the sail. But it'll look a lot better once everything's completed. So don't worry about that. So yeah, I was really liking how all of this was coming together. But now, finally all that is left to do is just work on building the sail. We've also got a ton of emeralds to put on the sail just to make it look fancier and make me look a little bit more rich because, you know, why not? I've got the emeralds. Might as well use them. So finally, let's get to work here and let's finish this build. you go this ship is pretty much done and i have to say this looks absolutely fantastic i am loving this thing already especially the sail i think it looks insane i mean all of this has just come together really really well it looks really really good and I, again it's not decorated which we're gonna do in a bit here so i'm gonna really quickly decorate this thing then i'll give you guys a full tour of this ship i can't really give you a time lapse of me decorating this because most of it's like indoors and i can't really capture footage of that but i mean it's only take me a few minutes anyway so really quick got to work decorated the entire thing and there you go i threw a ton 
of gold and emeralds on the main deck of this ship just because i thought it made me look you know more rich it looked a lot more eccentric you know i really loved how all of that came together so yeah this is just the main deck here walking around not too decorated other than the gold and the emerald we go up top we got a ton of chests and stuff we got the captain's quarters with a nice table where you can eat and of course the primary food supply is in here with the captain because you know he's the captain and he deserves the very best along with his nice emerald floor we then go up top where you steer the ship again a lot more decorations a lot more emerald and gold and whatnot and then we've got the i should just say the wheel to drive the ship but i'm just now realizing that like the mast is in the way and you can't really see where the ship is going so bit of a overlook there but still not that big of a deal we've got a couple different ways to get below deck we've got there's the one ladder right here and then we've sort of got another ladder back here hidden away where we can get below deck so going down here this is basically just you know the living quarters which is why there's a ton of beds down here and there's a ton of red zone torches to sort of give a more moody lighting but i have full right on so you can't really see that all of this is basically just again like the living quarters and then on the back end here we have the brig for locking up any prisoners or anything yeah again i thought all this came together really really well i thought it looked absolutely fantastic and then flying up to the top of the ship here again not much decoration going on up here other than some lighting but if we go inside the sail uh, again a lot more lighting i want to do something inside the sail in the future but for right now i basically just added a ton of torches when i turn on mini hud as you can see all these numbers indicate the light level so since how all of those are above zero that means no bobs can spawn inside the sail which was my biggest concern right now but again in the future i might actually do something inside there like build something there just like a little secret room or whatnot flying around my ship as you can see the, all of the light levels are perfectly set so no mobs can spawn so it's not gonna affect with the spawn rates of my creeper farm which is right next to it that was a pretty big deal and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much it again this thing i thought turned out absolutely amazing i seriously seriously love how it looks it looks way better in the background than my old ship did and it makes me look a lot more rich with all of the gold and emerald spread about and then i wanted to again add the other decorations so i added the giant iron chains to it all and i forgot to record that footage i tested in a creative world of building the chains and i liked how it turned out but then no i i came back to my hardcore world and i i didn't turn on the recording and i just built it anyway but yeah we built the iron chains and it only took me a few minutes and now we want to build a landing platform for the ship so i decided to use light Matica to help me perfectly outline where the ship is right so that the platform looks as realistic as possible so you can see all of the red blocks in the water that is where the ship would actually be placed if it was in the water so we're just using stone slabs to go ahead and outline it all the way around and then once we finish all of that up i wanted the outline to look just a little bit smoother nice smoother edges rather than just random jagged stone edges so i went ahead and cleaned up all of that and so once we went ahead and finish up smoothing all of that out only took me a few minutes or so it was looking pretty good but i wanted it to be a little bit bigger so i decided to add a few more layers to it with some dark oak slabs you know i thought that would give it a nice little bit more texture and make it a little bit more visible and i thought it would look really nice so we went ahead and worked on that added a few more layers of just dark oak planks and there you go looking a lot better now i thought it themed pretty well with the ship and now we just sort of need to like cap it off you know because we can't just have it get, like loading in the water that would be a bit weird Weird. so i decided to like outline it with glass i thought that would look decent enough so i added a few layers here we flew back out to take a look at it and yeah that should look fine enough i didn't really know what else to do other than like outline it with glass so i just grabbed all of that finished the outline and there you go this is my completed build we've got the landing station for the ship we've got the giant iron chains anchoring it down we got of course the giant massive ship and finally our hardcore world is really starting to come together with our massive builds here this is definitely looking insanely better and again i seriously love this thing to me it looks so insanely good it looks so much better and it just makes my world look that much more top notch i seriously enjoyed this video and i seriously love this ship and how it looks and i so very much hope that you guys loved it too so if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos because again very soon we are going to be upgrading our castle to an absolutely massive insane castle so with that stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next one